Hey guys, I'm Adam Lambert, and a memorable story from traveling the world with Queen was when we played Rock in Rio. Um, we arrived in Rio and we stayed at, uh, and I can't remember the name of the hotel, of course, but it was right on the water, the Copacabana Palace, that's what it is. And it's a famous old hotel that they stayed in when they first came to Rio, so it had a lot of nostalgia for them. And we were, I was on the roof of this hotel because they have a pool up there, and I looked over the edge and there was just tons of fans on the other side of the street lined up chanting, singing, and that was like the first time I had experienced that before. And that night when we had our show at the festival, we had to take a helicopter because it was, it wasn't so far away that where the stage was, but because it was such a packed event, it would have taken us like five hours in traffic to get there. And um, we played to, I think it was like 300,000 people that night. I mean, it, there were so many people there, it was crazy. And they were all singing along um, and that helicopter ride coming in and leaving was just unbelievable. Seeing that sea of people out there waiting for us, I'll never forget it. So my very first job was at 16 and I worked at a Starbucks. So the worst part about it was that I had to work these morning shifts on the weekend because you know I was a student in high school, um, so I can only work the weekends during the year and uh, I had to wake up 4.30 in the morning to get there and to open the place by 5.45 in the morning with like one other person I would meet there and you know I was in high school I was not a morning person and I would drive and I would get there and then when I when we would open the store I would immediately like fill up like a giant venti with coffee and put like four shots in it and drink it because I was so tired um, but yeah that was my first job and Something that some people will probably know who worked at Starbucks is that when you're working at the bar where the like where you're doing the espresso shots and everything and they have the milk and you're steaming milk, you know, it's it's a messy area and especially when you have the morning rush and you're hurrying and coffee grounds fall on the ground and the milk falls on the ground underneath like, you know, like one of those mats for, to keep you from slipping. Well, after about like four hours, the smell between the rotting milk and the old grounds of espresso it's something that nobody should ever experience, and if you haven't experienced it yet, pray that you never will, because it's a pretty terrible smell. <laughs> and it would just stick to your shoes, and it would be on your pants, and it would be on your clothes. <sighs> that's, a, that's a thankless job. That's like a survival job. It's hardcore, with benefits. So I have a very distinct memory of, of an early song. My father had, um, sat my brother and I down and, like, and he said, I want to play this song for you. And it was the opening of the David Bowie Diamond Dogs album, which is totally scary and very creepy. And it's like, you know, he's got like, there's like howling in the back and he's got this weird distorted voice. And um, my brother started crying. I mean, he was like, he was like four, I think. He got really scared. And of course I was old enough to realize it was just a song. So I started just laughing at my brother and my dad got a kick out of just us both freaking out. Uh, me laughing, my brother sobbing. He was kind of like <laughs> So yeah, done.